Hello boys and girls, so in this video we are going to focus on 8.3 Interference of Transmitted Light Through Double Slip So, a monochromatic light source is placed behind a narrow slit as not, which acts as our point source The cylindrical wavefront will be spread out from slit as not and reach S1 and S2 in phase because both slits are equal distances from S0 so the distance S1 from S0 is equal to the distance of S2 from S0 so the wave emerged from slit S1 and S2 are therefore always in phase so we can trick S1 and S2 as coherent sources so the wave will be spread out behind each slit the wave will interfere in the regions where they overlap resulting in a pattern of bright and dark band on the screen so the center of the pattern is always a bright fringe why? Because this point on the screen is equal distance from S1 and S2. Bright fringe is observed when constructive interference occurs and the intensity is maximum. A dark fringe is observed when destructive interference occurs and the intensity is minimum. So class, for the interference of double slit, the center of the pattern is a bright fringe corresponding to m equal to 0. This point on the screen is equal distance from the two slit. That's why we get a bright fringe. On either side of the central bright, on either side of the central bright, we are going to have our first bright corresponding to m equal to 1 so we also call it at first order maxima follow with second bright m equal to 2 or second order maxima follow with third bright m equal to 3 fourth bright m equal to 4 and so forth and then beside the bright fringe we also will observe dark fringe due to the destructive interference so on the either side of the central bright we are going to have our first dark corresponding to m equal to zero so we also call it as zero order minimum follow with second dark corresponding to m equal to one so is first order minimum follow with third dark m equal to 2, fourth dark m equal to 3, fifth dark m equal to 4, and so forth. So class, we can measure the distance of m bright fringe maxima from the central bright. So how far the m bright fringe from the central bright is given by y subscript m equal to m lambda d over d we might also calculate the distance of m dark fringe from the central bright is given by m plus half lambda d over d whereby lambda is referred to the wavelength of the light d is referred to the separation between the two slit. Capital D represent the distance from the slit to the screen where the interference pattern form. Y subscript M refer to the distance of the M fringe from the center, from the center bright. Okay. M refer to the order number whereby, bear in mind, our order number always start from 0, follow with plus minus 1, 
plus minus 2 and so forth. Why we have plus minus? Because the interference pattern will form on either side of the central bracket. I repeat, why we have plus minus? Because the interference pattern will form on either side of our central bracket. Then class, we might also find the separation between two consecutive bright fringe or the separation between two consecutive dark fringe. The separation we denote by delta y and is given by equation lambda d over d. The separation between two consecutive bright fringe or two consecutive dark fringe is also known as fringe width or fringe separation. So class, when we change the wavelength or the distance of the slit from the screen or we change the slit separation, it will affect the interference pattern that we might observe on the screen. So, how we, are, how we know the, chain, uh, the effects of we changing all that parameter? So we can refer to the equation of fin separation. Delta y is lambda d over d. So we can see obviously our fin separation is proportional to the wavelength and proportional to the distance from the screen and inversely proportional to the slit separations. So, any changes we make to the wavelength, distance from the screen, and also the separation between the two slit, it might affect the patterns of interference that we might observe. So class, now let us see what is the effect of wavelength distance from the screen and the slit separations on the interference pattern that we obtain. So if we refer to the equations of fringe separation, delta y is lambda d over d. So our delta y fringe separation, separation between two consecutive bright fringe or dark fringe, is proportional to the wavelength proportional to the distance from the screen but then is inversely proportional to the slit separations. So, let us observe what happens if I increasing D. So, I mark it down first. This is our initial separation between the two consecutive bright fringe delta y. So observe what happened to the fringe separations when I increase the distance between the screen. So see, I increase the distance. Yes, now you will find out that the fringe separation will become greater because our delta y is proportional to the screen separations. So as you increase the screen separation, our delta y will increase. So when we have increasing d, our delta y will increase then our pattern will spread out. Yeah, it's spread out, right? Okay. So your delta y become greater. So class, now let us see another situation. If I try to decrease, decreasing the slit separation, the separation between these two slits. I try to decrease the separation between the two slits. What are going to happen to my 
interference pattern. So I mark down the initial separation between the slit. This is my delta y initially. Then I do the changes. I try to increase the slit separate decrease. Sorry, I try to decrease the slit separation. So see what happened when I decrease the slit separations. Yeah, when my slit separation is decreasing, I'll find out that my slit separation. My slit separation will in increase. So the delta y will increase. Why? Because why? Because the delta y and d is inversely proportional. So when your d decreasing, your delta y will increase. So same as we decreasing the d. Our delta y increase, we will get a pattern that spread out. Alright, so then class, we have the third one. Let us see what happens when we try to use a shorter wavelength. So, if we refer to the equation given, we will find out that our fringe separation, our fringe separation is proportional to the wavelength. So it means that if our we use a shorter wavelength, our wavelength is decreasing, then our delta y should be decreasing, then we will get a fringes that will be close together. So let us see. So observe what happened to the pattern when I decrease the wavelength. So as the wavelength decreasing, we can see very obviously our pattern will be come close together. Okay. So our delta y will decrease and the pattern will become close together. Okay, we will get a smaller delta y. So this is the effect of wavelength, distance from screen, and also the slit separations on the interference pattern. So, so boys and girls, I summarize it in a table. So when we Increasing the D, we move the screen further from the slit. We will find out that our delta Y increase. The fringes will be further apart. So we will obtain this pattern. If we shorten the wavelength, then we find out that our delta Y will decrease. The fringe will be closer together. If we decreasing the slit separations, means we bring the slit closer together, we find out that our delta y will increase, the fringes will be further apart. So this is the effect of changing wavelength, distance from screen and the slit separations on our interference pattern. Then we move on to one example, how we are going to solve problem related to interference in double slit. So class, a viewing screen is separated from a double slit source by 1.2 meter. The distance between the two slit is given as 0.02 millimeter. The third bright fringe is 9.49 millimeter from the central line. Center line. The center line is the central bright. Calculate the wavelength of the line B, the distance of the third dark fringe from the center, C, distance between adjacent bright fringes. So class, in order to calculate the wavelength of the line, we can use the information given 
we know that the third bright fringe is 9.49 millimeter from the center line so we can use the equation y m equal to m lambda d over d choose the equations that use for bright fringe okay so our m is start from 0 1 2 3 4 and so forth so what order number we need to substitute into the equation that corresponding to third bright fringe you might start cow from 0 so 0 is the center bright first bright m1 second bright m2 third bright m is 3 so we are going to substitute our m with 3 so the ym is 9.49 to the power of negative 3 millimeter change to meter the distance from the screen is 1.2 the slit separation is 0 0.2 millimeter so times 10 negative 3 in meter then do the calculation you will obtain the wavelength is 5.27 to the power of negative 7 meter question b we need to determine the distance of the third dark fringe from the center so take the equation for dark fringe y m is m plus half lambda d over d our m is the order number that always start from zero so for the third dark fringe what is the order number m that corresponding to this one so we start count from zero zero is first dark one is second dark third dark m equal to two so we are going to substitute our m with two so putting all the value do the calculation we will get the distance of the third dark fringe from the center is 7.905 to the power of negative 3 meter third question we want to calculate the distance between adjacent bright fringe so the distance between adjacent bright fringe is referred to the fringe separation delta y so take the equation for delta y delta y is lambda d over d then we put in all the value so we will get the distance between adjacent bright fringe is 3.162 to the power of negative 3 meter so this is the so so class this is how we apply the equations to solve problem related to young double slip so you might try the tutorial questions that related to learning outcome 8.3